All right, so today we are talking about the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, as we can see here in the depiction of right, this person is charging, this person is going for things, um, really reaching out to make something happen. And with the Swords energy, we know that's air energy, Geminis, Libras, and Aquarius. So there's a lot of thinking and talking going on with that action part of your actual mouth. Um, with the Knight of Swords, they're still trying to, like, you know, new beginnings, trying to turn a new page with conversation, really trying to mature and expand upon that. This person typically also, Knights, Knights can typically be men, young men and all that stuff. Uh, it can represent women too, because you never know for the energy that they are feeling. The Knight of Swords, uh, this person could be as well coming in hot with their words, really uh, got a lot to say, thinking about a lot, speaking a lot, really fast, really could be a fast talker as well. This person is maturing about how they talk and um, trying to get to that place of the maturity of how you should have conversations and how you should handle criticism, backlash, um, even just handling a conversation or disagreements and negotiations. With the Swords in reverse, this person and it could be a guy typically in this in this chance this person's having a hard time um communicating effectively thinking effectively they could be immature with their words they could be throwing a little bit they shouldn't be saying maybe they could be gossiping a little bit too much just really causing issues could be a person that can be very uh vengeful with their words or attack with their words just not completely understanding there's miscommunication going on here point blank period you know that is the knight of swords so of course if you have any questions or anything comment below whatever you need to do to get in contact with me and of course i will help so i'll see you guys later and